from the uncasing of the four state colours and 36 regimental colours by the Reserve Parade Regimental Sergeant Major, Master Warrant Officer Lin Jianhui, and the Colours Regimental Sergeant Major, Military Expert 3, Terry Ting Tong Jason. Facing the colours are men and women from the five Guard of Honour contingent, this with the responsibility of protecting the honour and proceeding of this ceremony. The history and tradition of colours go a long way back. At the beginning of the 17th century, the militaries were adopting the regimental system. Flags of distinct colours were assigned to each regiment for the purpose of identification during war. For example, the Red Regiment would carry a red coloured flag when they go for battle. Hence, military flags came to be known as colours. In some other chronicles, early heraldic flag bore the colours of the commander in the same sense used in horse racing today. On the other side of the world, in, six, the, in the 1650s, the Man troops were experimenting with a new concept of military organization. Troops were divided into four groups, the yellows, reds, whites, and the blues. Each group was identified by a colored banner. Subsequently, when a number of units multiplied, each new unit took on one of the original four colors and added a border to their banner for the purpose of distinction. Hence, Colors originated as a means of better field identification and continue to perform this function for many centuries. Colors become the identity of the unit and when colors fall or are captured during battle, it was deemed that the unit had fallen. Therefore, the bravest of soldiers were tasked to guard the colors. Today, modern leaders continue to maintain the tradition of having colors in units, but colors are no longer used in the battlefield for the purpose of identification serve a ceremonial role. Colors represent a distinct identity for each unit and through the colors, men and women form a strong affiliation with their respective units. Our short history of colors in the SEM dates back to 1954. Then, there were only two colors, the cream colors and the Singapore volunteer core colors. Then, Governor of Singapore, Sir John Nicol, presented both colors to the Singapore volunteer Corps on the 8th of July, 1954, at a party in the of the centenary of the volunteer Corps. When the Japanese occupation ended, new colors were donated by the city council to replace those that were lost with the fall of Singapore in 1942. The restructuring of the Singapore volunteer Corps after our independence in 1965 saw the Corps undertaking a different role in Singapore. Hence, both colors were retired. The presenting of colours to the unit is an established practice of many militaries and the Singapore Armed Forces is no exception. Colours are often paraded during auspicious and significant occasions such as the National Day Parade. Every colour is carried by a commissioned officer known as the Ensign. Accompanying each colour is a senior specialist known as the Escort. While the function of the colours today is purely symbolic, their importance cannot be overstated. They are the embodiment of an institution tradition, glory, honor, pride, and veneration. In 1997, the service, formation, and unit was awarded regimental colors five years upon their inception and awarded the state colors two years upon receiving the regimental colors. It was subsequently decided that since both the state and regimental colors serve the same purpose of inspiring soldiers, state colors would only be awarded to the three services there and such a military institute in recognition of its premium status as a military institute. Regimental colors on the other hand would be awarded to formations and units. All other colors outside of these conventions were retired during the 1997 Singapore Armed Forces Day Parade. Prior to conferring unit with new colors, the colors are blessed by the various religious leaders of the inter-religious organization in a consecration ceremony. Thereafter, the colours will be presented to the commander of the unit by the President of Singapore. Similarly, colour can also be retired when the unit becomes unfound due to organisational restructuring. The retired colour will be paraded ceremoniously during the SEM Day Parade where the entire parade will play one final compliment to the colour. This can be an emotional moment as the retired colour will not be on parade again. The SAF state colours adopts the basic design of the state flag with the SAF crest and blazon on it. The SAF state, state colours consists of the state crest, the terrace Singapore, which means Singapore Armed Forces. The motto of the SAF, Yang Pertama Dan Udama, meaning first and foremost, and the laurels of excellence. In its entirety, the emblem depicts victory and merit in all the SAF's enemies. 
The SAS state colors symbolizes the pride and honor of officers and men who have contributed towards her success. The late President of the Republic of Singapore, Mr. Ong Teng Chung, presented the SAF state colors to the Chief of Army, Major General Han Ing Juan, at the SAF Day Parade on 1st July 1997, held at the Safi Military Institute. The SAF state color is presented to the Army as the colors is also known as the Army State Colors. It is awarded to the SAF Best Combat Unit on SAF Day, thus the recipient become the custodian of the Army State Color for that particular year. On the 1st July 2024, the 1st Commando Battalion was awarded the SAF Best Combat Unit and thus they have been given the sacred responsibility of being the custodian of the Army State Color for this year. In summary, colors are a symbol of pride and have always been regarded with great reverence. Colors bear the badges that commemorate the achievements of the unit in the field of combat, training, administrative efficiency, and service to the community. The colors also help to promote cohesion, esprit de corps, and imbue a sense of loyalty onto the soldiers. Ladies and gentlemen, the uncasing of color ceremony will be coming to an end shortly. Thank you for joining us in this meaningful military tradition. We wish you a pleasant day ahead. Come on!